Hello everybody, this is Phil Miranda with Miranda Detailing. So I'm gonna go live today because um, I haven't had a lot of time to work on editing some of our videos. I do have a lot of videos to edit, but the past week I've been working on something kind of big for us. So I'm going to show you detail. Now we still have the Ford Expedition. What we did is took everything out of here. <laughs> so it is empty. So if you uh, remember what it looked like before, check out our other video uh, that shows our mobile detailing setup. Um, but I'm gonna show you our new trailer in just a second. And it's not completely done yet, um, but it's to the point where I can work out of it and I'm slowly working on things uh, on the inside. So. If you remember our old setup, well, it's all empty. I need to clean it all up in here, but everything is out of here. Now I have this. So I'll eventually put graphics on it, but right now I'm putting more time and effort and money into the inside. I have all of my plywood and stuff that I've been uh, working on it's a huge mess back here because I haven't had time to clean it up But this is all of the, the boards that I've been using for the inside so At the new setup What do you mean can't see anything? Uh oh, I don't have it set up correctly Can everyone see everything? should be live okay how about now I had to switch it over from Wi-Fi to my uh, network how about now guys okay cool some say they can see some say that they can't I think it was just my network I how is I had it on Wi-Fi now I have it on LTE so hopefully, I, was, I had it on Wi-Fi, now I have it on LTE. So hopefully it'll be better. So let me know down in the comments if you can actually see this. This. But here is the new setup. Again, I'm still working on it. Unfortunately, the doors here just have this flimsy board and they're framed out, but there's nothing in the middle. So, I don't know what I'll do with these yet. I might just leave them the way it, it is. But at least here, I just hung up my little detail guards. These are light. I might just hang up light stuff. Detail guards, these are light. I might just hang up light stuff here. Maybe like a towel rack just to dry towels. Um, but here it is, guys. So this thing can hold everything and more much better setup as before. Now I painted the walls. I put a couple of coats of flat white and I'm slowly painting them with semi-gloss, which just holds up better. Uh, everything else in here, the big table um, that's in here, I'll go inside in a second and show you. Everything was painted white in, in semi-gloss and the floor I painted with the um, overdecking. I think it's called overdeck paint just a really hard textured paint. And I kind of put everything fresh in here, so it's peeling off the metal. It doesn't really like metal. So this will all peel off, but that's fine. But this seems to be pretty good. So as you saw that I used to have on my trailer hitch, my Husky 5,000 watt generator, and it fits in there perfectly. I just have it on cardboard because it does tend to vibrate and chew up the floor. So this protects that, which is, which is fine. Um, I have my pressure washer set up. Sorry, it was a busy day of work, so it's a little messy in here. Uh, but of course I have my same engine, same pressure washer set up as before with the 50 foot hose and reel. That's fine, same tank as before. So this thing works perfectly. I have to figure out another way of bolting this down because I just have it bungeed like I had in the truck. I don't like that setup, so I'm going to figure out something else. I was actually looking at go-kart mounts, 
which use, you know, five horsepower engines like this, and they have a nice metal mount. So I'm looking into that. So this might change the next couple of weeks. This is perfect. This sets up really nice. And now I have all my brushes set up here. All of my other brushes set up all along here, nice and organized. My other brushes for interior and exterior here. This is, you know, just one screw to, to bolt it down, to, to hold it down. Now these, I still have yet to figure out if I'm going to keep them here or not, but I have these really nice wire racks. Now, the electric pressure washer. Oh, you know, I have thought about an electric pressure washer. I actually first started out with one, but I didn't know how to run it correctly. For some reason, it, I, I didn't have it pulling from the my static water source correctly, so I just switched out for a gas one. I, I might do that later on. I just spent a lot of money on the gas uh, pressure washer pump, so I'll probably have this one for quite a few years until I upgrade to something else different. But yeah, I might, I might do that. I might switch over to an electric pressure washer later on just to save space. Um, hey, thank you, man. Thanks, David. Uh, so this is still kind of in the works. I might put it up on the wall. There's tons of wall space I can utilize, but for now, hey, from Brazil, awesome. Uh, but for now, this is this is working. This just moves a little bit. I had them up here, but I have my nice bottle set up here. Now these you can buy on Amazon. I'm gonna have some links to some of the stuff that I bought. These wire racks were super cheap. I think they were either like six or eight dollars, something like that, and they're heavy duty wire racks. They're made for kitchens, I believe, to put, I don't know, spices and stuff in. Uh, but they are really heavy duty. So I'll put links to those down below. I'll put links to these down below as well because these hold all of your 16 ounce bottles. And I also lined up all of my bottle holders here. These were from the old truck also. So they're a little, they're a little grungy, but they'll, they still work. They're a little rusty too. Uh, but those work. You can get those at Home Depot. I'll see if I can find them on Amazon also. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Ryan. So I can line up all those bottles there. I still have some space here that I'm going to utilize. Now, this I really love. I just got this in yesterday and installed it. My airline hose uh, in real. Now, I just kind of bolted this here. And as you see, I drilled a hole so that the uh, hose that goes to a new... Um, tucked away back there. I'll show you on the other side, but it's a new air compressor that I got from Harbor Freight. They, uh, they have this other one. I can't remember the name right now, but I'll, I'll show you in a second when I go over to the other side. Uh, but it's a eight gallon, 150 PSI. It fills up really fast and it's just, it's nice looking, but doesn't matter. It's hidden away. It just works really, really well. So I've been using it for the past two days now, but this hose reel is really cool. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, I forgot to say, it's a 6x10. It's a 6x10 enclosed trailer. So it's pretty big, and it's it's 6 foot interior, so I can stand in it. Um, I'll show you in comparison to the truck, which I finally just got the exterior cleaned up. It was gross. How many clients a week? I usually do two full details a day, and I really only book three days a week. So I don't do every single day, because if I did, I would die. <laughs> it takes a lot of work out of you, a lot of energy out of you. Um, but my wife and I do three days a week, um, about two full details per day. And uh, that seems to be really, really uh, great for us. Sometimes I'll do four days if I really need to, but I leave those other days open because I do other stuff. And also at least for, uh, room for flexibility if weather is bad, then I can just switch out my days. But yeah, it's a really nice big V-nose, so I'm gonna show you inside what I did in here because it it utilizes a lot of space. Nice wheels and rims here, pretty, pretty heavy duty. Nice lighting also. Eventually, I'll have some graphics up here. I might be rebranding a little bit, maybe a different logo. Not sure yet, but we'll see. So, that's the inside of the back here. I have all my gallons set up here. What do I use for advertising? Um, nothing. <laughs> Not, I really don't use anything. My website, 
draws a lot of attention here in Richmond, Virginia. Everybody searches online for stuff. So I don't do any advertising. It's word of mouth. We've been in business for about nine years now. And our website just brings in a steady amount of clients. Right now, I'm booked about two weeks out. And I'm taking a week off after that. Yep, word of mouth. <laughs> it does. It does an amazing job. Sure does. Um, now, the cool thing, I have a link to this. I got it on Amazon. I think it was about 50 bucks or 60 bucks. Uh, if you see that little ring right there, this plate, uh, this plate on the bottom here, this whole thing actually releases. This thing comes off and the plate is right there and you can just bolt it easily. So you don't have to fight, you know, even if you take out all of the hose, you still have to fight the metal here. This thing unclips and the whole thing comes out. It's a separate piece. It's, it's really cool. No, I don't do any dealerships. I'm sorry, but I, I really hate dealerships. <laughs> I used to work for dealerships doing bumper painting. And uh, if any guys are working at dealerships now, I'm sorry, but I just cannot stand them. Uh, yeah, it's a brand new trailer, 2019 model, I guess. I don't know what difference that really makes, but uh, yeah, brand new trailer. It cost me about 3,200 bucks and I'm putting probably about $500 worth of stuff in it right now that I've just been upgrading. So really good deal, really good deal, actually. Let me take you over to the other side. I have really nice heavy duty locks for this too, which I got on Amazon. So if you're looking for good locks for trailers, it's these guys. These things are awesome. They're supposed to be drill proof and you know, you can't pop them at all and you can't, you know, break into them. They're really heavy duty locks. They're awesome. So here's the inside. Now this I use, as you see, this door likes to keep closing on me. So it's getting kind of late and I'm losing daylight. So here I just use this. Put right there. Keeps my door open. And the nice thing about you is you release them here and they open all the way, you know, almost flush to the side here. So you have plenty of space. So Sorry for the low light, guys. Let me see if I can find some light in here. I didn't think about that. I didn't realize it was going to be so dark in here. Oh, uh, let's see. I have an idea. Hold tight, everybody. Let me get a light. Look, you can see my backyard. It's a big mess. There's the compressor I just bought. Eight-gallon, oil-free McGraw. Really nice air compressor. Very powerful feed. Um, I mean, fills up really, really quickly. Ta-da! There's my poor, dirty car. It's disgusting. Okay, guys. So. Here we go. All right. Now, I'm still in the works. I might be uh, covering this completely just because... I want it kind of out of sight. I might set up something temporarily to go there. Uh, well, that, All right. Now, this setup is still temporary. The gallons I will keep there. I got my fan, my blower. Now, this is just a, a bucket of, you know, screws and, and other hooks and wall racks and stuff like that. So this is still all in the works. I'll be organizing this a little bit better. I think I might be able to run the Tornador, actually. I have my eyes on one from eBay. It's not made by Tornador, but it's another brand. Um, so I'm looking at that and it's cheap. It's like 50, 60 bucks. And I, I, I had one before that was like that. It's not an off brand of the Tornador. It, kind of, it actually looks different too. Um, so I'll be getting that one soon because I really want to get one. Now, this is really cool. This is from Max Shine. This is their polisher holder. So right now, I love, love this thing. Holds my roofs and my little porter cable and all the cables go in there. It just screws to the wall there. And I'll show you. It just releases from here. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna harm anything. Oh no. It is kind of leaving marks there. It did have this other little lip 
thing that went here that, that protected it, but then it wouldn't slide on. It just kind of rested there. But here it actually slides in there a little bit deeper. This is a little bit pro uh, problematic too. When you put the roofs into this thing, you know, you need to have, I, I do have that modification in here, um, but you have to make sure that this rubber piece slides over the, the metal here so that it snaps down or, or slides down into that and holds it in place nicely. But for now, I like it. You can get this on Amazon. I'll have links to this also. I love just having it organized there. It's, it's really, really handy. Um, as you see, all my other other chemicals, I might get more of those 16-ounce bottle um, racks and maybe put them up here. We'll see. I'm just going to kind of leave that open for now. Give me some options. Uh, here I have my canopy, and of course I have this nice um, vacuum hose holder. Hey, how's it going, JNS? So I have my vacuum, my extractor, my steamer, and I just have it held on this hook here. Yeah, it, it did come with that rubber seal for the for the top. I just took it off because um, the polisher wouldn't actually fit onto, it won't fit into that little groove because that's how much, you don't have a lot of space in between here. So I might put it back on and, and see what I can do because I don't want it to ruin anything, but we'll see. So this is kind of a part one. I'll make another proper video with my other camera and with better light, hopefully in the daytime. And I'll keep working on this. So I'll slowly keep working on things in here and showing you guys what's going on. So that's the one thing in a trailer. You got to make sure to just, you know, you don't have to strap everything and bolt everything down perfectly, but at least bungees just hold stuff in place because it'll, it'll shift around a little bit. Now the, the air compressor, I have, I do have that bolted down. Um, the light in here is, is really bad, so you can't really see. Uh, the blue bottle sprayers. Do you mean the handles? These handles? I get these for like a dollar at the Automagic uh, warehouse that I have locally. They're actually a buck, so I pick up like 20 at a time. That way I have plenty of extra ones. I hope that's what you meant. <laughs> um... Now, I have a work desk. Again, that's in um, what electric pressure washer would I buy? Ooh, good question. I'm not sure. The Karchers do look nice, but I kind of want something a little bit more permanent set up. I know Obsessed, Obsessed Garage has a really nice setup with the Krenzel. Uh, what do I use for power? I have a 5,000 watt generator in the back. Right there with my pressure washer set up right there. That thing is a beast. That that uh, that Husky 5000 watt generator will power everything. It'll power the steamer. It'll also power my extractor. So I got my extractor there, a couple of other miscellaneous buckets for trash and other things. This is still also in the works. I might build a cabinet set here. Not sure yet. So this is in the works. Now these cool mesh, these are heavy duty mesh bags. I also will have a link for these. Getting a bigger water tank? Nah, nah. I'm going to stay with the 65 gallon. I actually like that size. It's perfect because I don't do fleet washing and I don't plan on doing fleet washing because I don't want to wash tons of cars. So I keep it simple, two full details a day, maybe three exterior only details or something like that. I, I keep it very simple, but we spend a good like three to four hours or more per vehicle anyway. That's with my wife and I. So you're talking like up to six man hours per vehicle. So it takes a lot out of us. <laughs> so I don't like doing basic washes or anything like that. I, I don't do them. Um, so these mesh bags are awesome for your towels. So I separated them interior only grungy ones and then exterior only and glass. So some of those do get grungy. I'm gonna have to replace some of my towels but I separate them like that and they stay in here for the week because it's mesh and they can air out and they don't get gross. And then when I need to, I simply unhook them. I just have little hooks here and these are heavy duty enough that they don't, uh, they don't seem to rip. At least not yet. I just got them a couple of days ago. So they're really nice and heavy duty. And I just put them on these little white hooks that I have here. 
and they stay there for the week. And now I'm probably going to bring them in because it's Friday and wash them all and be good for the next uh, week. So I do have these other little racks. These are smaller than these wire racks. But again, I got them from Amazon and I'm planning on either putting them here, two sets here, something like that. Undecided yet. We'll see. And again, this is still a work in progress. Get the light here. But I have, you know, just some of my other basic stuff and some of my cards and pens and things, but still setting this up. This has other miscellaneous things in it. Um, and I actually bolted this in so it doesn't move, but I have other miscellaneous things in here. Pads and extra parts for the spray bottles and things like that. So, yeah, this is turning out to be really nice. It's my little blade holder. Do I use extractor soap in it? No, I don't. I just use it for rinsing. So I will clean the carpets with the chemical itself and spray it, agitate, brush it, and then use the extractor to rinse. So it's just water. Sometimes I'll put vinegar in there for a clean rinse, um, but it's just water. I use it as a water rinse. And, uh, oh yeah, I also have this with all my towels. So of course you gotta bungee it down, but my pads and then exterior only, interior only, glass, and then miscellaneous scrubbing tools, vacuum tools, things like that. And they all stay nice and bungeed. And I actually screwed this to the wall here too. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. I would love to have 100 subscribers. I mean, 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Tell 90,000 of your friends. So, don't know what I'm going to do with the ceiling. I wish it came with a uh, vent, but I might install one later. I'm just a little afraid to cut into anything, but I might get brave later on and do that. But so far, working out of a trailer is so nice. It's so nice. I can put a fan in here. I'll probably do that later. Man, if I can have an air conditioner in here, I'd be set. That'd be awesome. But it'll work for now. So I'll be updating things in the next couple of weeks, but that is what I have been doing this week. So I'm sorry, I may not have as many videos for the next couple of weeks planned. I might just do one per week. I might go live during the week every once in a while to kind of fill in those gaps. So hang tight, guys. I do have a lot of videos left uh, to edit. Hey there, Charles. How long did you take for you to price details? Oh, that's, that's kind of an interesting question. It's changed over, um, over the years. I mean, I used to do like full details for like 150 bucks or less. Uh, install the wall. Sorry, Alfred, what do you mean? Did I install the wall? Do you mean like this? Because I built the whole shelving system. It's, it's all built on like two by threes and, and, uh, and uh, what else? And plywood, some heavy duty plywood. And I just bolted everything to the wall, down to the floor to make it nice and sturdy. And it's, it's actually really, really heavy duty. And these, these walls were already in here. Um, I just painted everything. It was just bare wood. Thanks, Daniel. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I've been pretty excited about this. And uh, I might even cover that up so you don't see anything back there just to kind of make it look nice and clean. That's my whole goal with this trailer is to make it look professional, like it's a little tiny mini mobile detailing shop. So I might add a few things up here, like those pull-out lines. Thanks, Alfred, appreciate it. Uh, like pull-out extension cords instead of just having this thing, because that's annoying. They're just so expensive. That's the only thing. I almost got a retractable, my old retractable air, um, hose reel it just it was garbage i bought two of the same ones and they kept breaking so i didn't want to spend any money on a retractable one this is perfect it's just hand crank easy peasy i might do the same thing with the with the extension cords or i might buy nice retractable ones i don't know i just don't know if i want to spend the money on extension cords 
uh, like that, but maybe down the road just to make things easier. So tell me guys what you think of it. If you have any suggestions, if you guys have trailers like this, uh, that you have set up, let me know. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did give it a thumb up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. And uh, as always subscribe, and click the bell, that way you get notifications and you don't miss stuff. All right, guys, everybody have a good and safe night and a good weekend, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Take care.